Ohio State with a couple of special guests at practice today. First, assistant coach Tim Hinton showed up on a horse, and then former President Bill Clinton in town speaking at Ohio State earlier in the day also stopped by. I guess as Joey Boza would say, such is life as the defending national champion. Speaking of Boza, if you look purely at his stats, he's not having as good of a season this year as last. Through nine games, he has only four sacks, while through nine games last season, the then sophomore had 10 sacks. However, that sack stat doesn't tell the whole story. I think the term is disruptive. What makes Joey Bosa? He's only got so, so many snacks, sacks, but uh, at least two. Sometimes they, they, I saw a video where there were three guys locked him, you know, just blocking him. He took one where he took his, uh, uh, right, he came from the left side and just took a 300 pound man and threw him in the backfield and made a tackle on the back. Completely disruptive is what makes a great defense alignment. It's obviously uh, says a lot about what I'm doing, which is nice. Anytime they're, they got a scheme to put two or more guys on me. But um, more importantly, it's, it's opening, up, opening up opportunities for other guys on the defense to make plays, so that's always good. Now, I can't say that I've been fortunate enough to coach a player that, that, that's uh, been like Joe. I think the other one was J.J. Watt when we were at Wisconsin. He, re he uh, received a lot of that same uh, uh, attention that JJ or that uh, Joey does, so um, that's the only other player I've been around that has that kind of effect on an offense. And what the All-American is facing and doing hasn't escaped the notice of his teammates on both sides of the ball. I think he's the best player in the nation. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I said one of the best, but I really think he's the best player in the nation. A guy that attracts triple teams on plays, double teams on every play, and that you just have, have to account for in every play that you have on offense. Joey gives a, not a nightmare to offenses, and we were watching the game film. They had three guys blocking him. I was like, wow, and he still kind of broke through it. You know, his stats don't necessarily reflect as well as they did last year, but I think he's a better player than he was last year. Um, and they're asking him to kind of be selfless and do some things um, for the defense that don't necessarily get him the stats, and he's okay with that because at the end of the day, you watch the film, he's affecting the game. Bosa's a certain first-round draft pick next year for the NFL, perhaps even number one overall. So while he could return to Ohio State next season, he certainly sounds like someone about to play his final game at the shoe, even if that means passing up on the chance to play with his younger brother, Nicky highly touted high school senior who has verbally committed to the Buckeyes. Yeah, I'd have to say the only possible thing that would keep me here is playing with Nicky, just to, not even playing with him, just to be able to be here and show him how it's going to be and just, I know he'll be fine, but it's just, it would be so nice to be here and help him through it, uh, but we'll see when the time comes. It's, it's really crazy that three years has flown by so quick, and now my brother's going to be taking my spot here next year. It's, it's really exciting, but it's, it's still hard, even after all of that, to take every moment in one at a time. But I'm trying as best as I can to not wish time by and just take in every moment. It seems like yesterday I was coming here for the first time, so um, it's definitely going to be an emotional day for me.